Uh, we're here to announce today uh, that Sling Pilot Academy in partnership with Navi is here to announce that we're the first AI enhanced flight school and we're super excited to roll out this new program to all of our students and instructors and to um, uplift their training experience uh, through, through AI. Really happy uh, to be here with uh, Nick Kostik, one of the founders of Navi. Navi is an amazing AI company that is working on uh, improving uh, flight training. Uh, Nick, tell us a little bit about uh, who you are and how you got started. I've been a pilot for the last 15 years, super passionate about aviation. Thought we could do a lot better with aviation safety. AI just happened to come along at the right time and it's the perfect system to analyze flights and tell us what student pilots, instructor pilots are doing wrong and kind of predict or um, assess issues before they, they turn into real problems, right? Right now, how it works is we plug into the airplanes, we get the avionics data and the audio data into our AI model, which we've trained on, on thousands of flights here at the Sling Academy over the last year. And uh, it processes this, it takes about five minutes to produce a debrief, and it's able to tell the whole story of the flight and you know, tell the students and instructors, give them feedback on what they did well, what they didn't, assist the instructors in debriefing and, and you know, a bunch of other things. So what I've always been interested uh, in related to uh, AI and, and aviation is that aviation produces so much data. As AI has been, been coming up in the world, um, I started to think about how useful AI could be in deciphering all this data. How does AI do with all of the, the, the data that uh, is pr produced by aviation? It's able to ingest the, the whole data of a flight, single flight, multiple flights, a months long cohort, and identify events and, um, and, and find trends. So it's really good at looking at this unstructured data and finding moments where you know, students may have been unsafe or um, you know, things may have not been done the right way. We have this FOCWA tools and it's able to show graphs and charts and let us know when a plane was, you know, uh, what the bank angle was or wh whether the approach speed was good or not. But this is able to holistically tell you the whole story of the flight and you know, tell you where this happened. It's one thing to say, hey, the flight bounced. Sure, everybody saw it, the student knows that they bounced the plane, but why did that happen? And the AI is able to go back and find out the root cause of this and then tell the student, hey, next time, you know, you might want to do this to prevent that from happening. We cannot go through our flights manually. We cannot review uh, the engine performance on, on each one of our airplanes. So we love how AI can do that with ease. Yeah, absolutely. And we looked at this as well. And it's not something you can even outsource, right? Because you need the experts and the professionals to look at it. And they can only look at so many flights, right? And AI is capable of doing them in parallel. So we can look at 100,000 flights and analyze them within five minutes. Aviation safety has been reactive for the longest time. So like I mentioned, it takes, you know, uh, an accident or a safety report to be filed for somebody to go in and look at this. And here we can be much more proactive while still preserving, um, you know, the privacy of, of the pilots. Um, so we can report on events without having somebody uh, go in and, you know, look at their flight data and listen into their audio. Uh, the AI is able to assess it, come to a conclusion and, and just dump that data immediately. How, how can we, how do we make sure that we, we use this as a no-fault reporting system and not punitively? We don't have to have a human look at the data. Uh, we, we, so the way that we do this is we run all of the data through the model. The first thing we do is we uh, take away all of the irrelevant conversation that happens in the cockpit. A lot of private conversations happen in the cockpit. That gets stripped away and we only look at flight specific um, conversation. And then we go ahead and we anonymize it. So we'll remove the tail number, when the flight happened, who was in the plane at the time, who the instructor was, who the student was, and then we isolate the event and we can say, you know, well, this thing happened and it might be concerning, um, but we don't necessarily identify which pilot did it or uh, when they did it or which plane it was even. What I love about this is that this AI is not taking anyone's job away. It's just taking away a part of the job that uh, the instructor would rather not do, you know, for two hours every flight. So our instructors uh, often are scheduled in two hour blocks. They try to make the most of the block. They do maybe a 1.5 hour flight and they have enough time for a 10 minute debrief where they're gonna hit uh, the most salient points perhaps. Uh, they're not gonna nitpick every little thing the student did. And then they're gonna get onto the next student uh, who's waiting for them. And that's what our instructors wanna do because ultimately they're building time and experience uh, to go to the airlines. Tell us what, what Navi actually does. Yes, exactly. Uh, so that's an important point, right? Instructors don't have, you know, necessarily the time to sit there and, and debrief for so long, but that's exactly what students need, especially early on when they're kind of navigating this. They come back, they're tired from the flight, they, they cannot even absorb what's being said in the debrief. So 
what we do is, you know, and we've run studies on this and, and, and we found that it finds, you know, up to eight to 10 more things that the instructor also missed on the flight. If it was a particularly long flight, closer to the end of the day, instructor might be a little bit tired. Maybe they didn't take the notes of everything that happened. So it does help the instructor see everything that they've done, but it also helps the student take this home and, and you know, take the time at home to debrief. It comes back with, you know, all of the points, what the student did well, what they need to improve on. But now the amazing part is they can choose to, you know, say they, uh, they failed to add, you know, bump up, you know, like an extra 200 RPM in a steep turn. Um, they can now go in and they can deep dive into this and speak to the AI about this and, and have the concept explained to them in, in, in a way that they understand, right? So it can speak to uh, somebody who's very advanced, it can speak to a five-year-old about the same concepts, it can adapt, it can speak different languages as well. So this is where it's really useful for the student to kind of review this and come prepared for the next lesson. Because um, what we found is that a lot of the time the students are come back and repeating the same concepts just because they didn't grasp them the first time. I love this. The student gets unlimited uh, debrief time with, uh, with um, a device that has not missed a single thing. So it's reinforcing the instructor's uh, critique and, and commentary. And um, the student is getting the benefit of uh, sitting down for as long or as uh, little time as, as they'd like. A lot of learning in, in, in flight training happens outside of the cockpit. The cockpit is a very um, overstimulating uh, place for, for learning to occur. And a lot of students, uh, the debrief and the post-flight is where, where things really sink in. And that's also something which, which can be um, a little abbreviated in, in a, in a you know, high-paced uh, training uh, regimen. So the ability to have a two hour or three hour debrief if you want filled with deep dives sounds to me to be win-win for our instructors and our students. That was very important. Every instructor has their own teaching style. Uh, it's not necessarily that you know there's one right way to teach something. So the AI learns from that in the cockpit and, and it uses the same tone with the students. So we don't have like a conflict of, of, of tone and, 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 and the methods that the student is learning. So uh, I know in, in our collaboration, we've, we've pro provided uh, a bunch of training materials to train Navi on. Tell us what documents uh, and, and content Navi is trained on to give a Sling student um, a good uh, critique uh, and debrief after. Yeah, flight. absolutely. And, and, and most of the people, you know, when you tell them about AI and using in flight training, they'll be like, well, I tried ChatGPT and, and it's, it's not very smart when it comes to aviation. There's no way we'll use this. And that is very true. And that is because um, AI is like a very smart intern on their first day at the job. So they have no context of what's going on. So what we had to do at Sling here is we had to train it on all the materials, so all of the SOPs, all of the manual, obviously all of the official FAA documentation. We had to really train it on the way the Sling plane flies and the way that you train your pilots here. And in addition to that, we had to train it on actual uh, flights. So when we first started here, um, you know, we got a lot of things wrong, right? Uh, the AI would, would make mistakes. It would think it was trained in on, on Cessna airplanes. So we really had to fine tune that and train it to sling specific uh, procedures and, and data so that it comes back with, with great accuracy. And now we have um, a system that to our knowledge is 100% accurate on uh, everything it delivers. AI trained correctly with the right context on the student, where they're at in their training, the syllabus, the training environment, the local procedures of the airport, the local weather, is extremely effective in being, in being accurate and helpful. Yeah, well, we've been uh, super impressed at how, how good it's become uh, from you know, helping to debug some of the, the, the answers and debriefs and responses to a point now where um, it, it answers systems questions about the sling, it uh, identifies complex maneuvers, uh, evaluates judgment, grades uh, maneuvers according to the ACS standards, uh, checks to see that our, you know, uh, that our safety procedures are being followed. And um, um, you know, we try to trick it all the time and, and um, ask it questions that, uh, you know, climbing through a, an altitude where there's gonna be a frequency change, what frequency should you be on? And it picks up every, every little nuance and it's just uh, so impressive. And at this point, uh, we cannot live without it. And, we are super proud that we're going to roll it out to all of our students and instructors. It's included in the tuition at Sling Pilot Academy. And we are going to make it available uh, through Navi to other flight schools that operate slings. And we couldn't be uh, more excited about it. And um, we're excited to have um, Nick and his partner Vivek uh, demonstrate uh, uh, Navi to you so you can understand exactly how powerful it is. Thank you so much for Absolutely. being here. Absolutely, yeah. And thank you for you know, doing this with us. This is the first AI-enabled flight school in the world. 
I believe. And uh, thank you for being um, you know, open-minded enough to, to be the first in this. I think very soon this is going to become a commonplace.